so that so, so, so I struggle with this, this fact that they're, they're not they're not my family, and somehow something happened, uh, and and something about it has some kind of shroud in it that that forces me to to like I don't know I got this feeling in the pit of my stomach. You know when you have a feeling in your stomach that just something isn't right. I've had that all my life with this family. Um, and yes, it could be a, a, a product of, 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 uh, of PTSD itself in a way with, with the family because they are they were pretty screwy growing up. Uh, but one of the biggest things is the fact that they don't like, acknowledge my belief that I'm, it's not like they, 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 they you know, and the only two left that I can really talk to this about is, is my, um, well, it's my brother and my sister, which neither of them talk to me. And then my other sister, Camilla, is in Italy, and she, she, she has an aneurysm, she doesn't talk about it. I don't think, I don't know if she doesn't understand me. I don't know if I didn't understand her, so I don't want to be to her. She's going through enough shit in her life. She went through enough shit in her life, so I, but, but my brother and my sister, they, they, me confronting them about it, they don't, they do it in such a way that they, they turn it around and blame me and say it's the drugs that are making you do this. It's the you need to go to rehab and they repeat the same kind of garbage that, they, that you that you hear everywhere. And it's a, it's and it's more of a defense mechanism saying like you know, they go, you know, here you follow the bouncing ball out. Go ahead, we'll follow it across the street. It's not here, <laughs> you know. <coughs> That's what they do. They try. They they try not to. They don't acknowledge that I have a, that I have a concern. That, that and these are my concerns now. Now again, programmer, twenty five years of corporate America. Oh, yeah, you know, fifteen years. The other the other the other ten years, I was a banker. I did the banking side. Then I moved over to the programming side. So 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 I I, I have this thing right. Yeah. So I have this thing right, and I don't I don't I, the stories don't make sense. The, the, the things that were that were told don't don't really jive really well. What it really, the timelines of things happening really didn't didn't wasn't I don't know stuff just didn't make sense. Right? Uh, um, you know, uh, I was coming. Well, I don't I don't remember anything before before the age of like five or six, man. I don't remember flying here from Italy, man. And if I did, I, I, you know, it, it was it was it was maybe in some kind of drugged up thing, man. Where I don't I don't really recall anything before the age of six. Sitting in a house. That we lived in across the street from um, from uh, from across uh, uh, I S S T one. I don't know what it's called. Please. Elmhurst, Jackson. I don't know what the, I think it was Elmhurst. I it was called. I S S T one. I remember mean, a little little tiny apartment. We all lived in like, two bedroom. Movie. I don't know. Sitting in front of that TV. Watching that TV is the first memory that I have. So there's a lot of things like that that don't make sense. And the fact that my hand doesn't really acknowledge it and and, and, and and throws it into the into into a fan of you know of bullshit. <laughs> throws a bunch of bullshit into a into a fan and I just let it all spread around. It's like maybe he'll just get confused and, and not, not talk about this anymore. He don't talk to me at all. And while I was a kid, she throws me a little money and then uh, she comes in the mail and she gives me something, but other than that, she You have to go, have you seen a rehab? You go to the rehab? And I was like, abortion, man. Garbage. Um, my guys have told me what it is. They've, they've told me a bunch of different scenarios, and then and, and, and recently, you know, I guess, like, the last couple of days, actually. They've come up to, 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 and this is why it's fresh in my mind, they've come up to the, the whole st story for me. And they said, this is the story. And, it, and based on that, I understand what it is because they're not, they're not, they're not, they're waiting for me to put, put things together. And once I put things together, they're like, okay, they, you got to see how, how this is all fitting. And, you know, and, this is, and I helped that. They helped me through, through, through my, through my, my uh, programming. Uh, not the same way as they're doing here now, but, but, and they were there, always there, doing the same thing. You have all the pieces now, watch, they're putting them all together. See see how this makes sense? Like, yeah, this makes sense. You know, something like a, like a 12-year-old girl 
uh, uh, in Italy in a small little fucking, you know, small little, you know, <laughs> small little town in southern Italy. I don't want to say the word for that, but it's still a small little town in southern Italy where a 12 year old girl having a baby, uh, it better not be out of like, you know, uh, let's see, hmm, from an older man or something or this or that or. Uh, uh, you know, somebody not Italian or you know something. Twelve-year-old girl, right, has has this kid, and they take the baby away from the girl. She's too young, and she not she don't let her the, you know put it on the mouth. You know, let her be. You know, she has the baby, but she has it in like the you know, oh, she's going to school somewhere else. And then she comes back with, you know, with, you know, she's thin again. And then the baby just introduced as like, you know, oh, an orphan that we adopted. Blah, blah, blah. 12 year old girl that's what I'm saying and then somehow I got into the into the hands of, of my, my my current my, my newest being my mother which she had me at the age of 37 she did not have me at the age of 37 32 I was the last of, out, out of 12 but you know what I, and I, I never knew. <laughs> you know when you come from somebody at the most she's maybe a grandmother if anything but she was never a mother. You you know you feel it from inside, and that's not that's I'm not I'm not I'm not insulting the lady. My sister watches. Oh no, she's she's he said so much so many bad things about mommy. Like, no, I'm not. I'm just saying that that, that you have an inner feeling <laughs> or something, and I never had that from her as a mother. And it's not that she wasn't a good mother because she you know, she cooked, she cleaned, she did everything for us, everything. She, she brought us over here. She risked her life to bring us over here from Italy and so that we would have a better life here. How does she know this, man? She, 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 she don't think she had like a, like a, like a past, like a, I don't know, 12th, 12th, no, 10th grade, I mean, 7th grade education. So they, back then, they, 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 the, the women all fucking ended up, you know, they, 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 the, the, the washing and the cleaning, and that's what she did for us, man. She was a mother. She was, a, you know, she was like that kind of a mother, a grandmother kind of a thing, you know. <laughs> so my sister Rose is seven years younger, or five or seven years older than me, and then my brother Tony, uh, he's ten years older than me, and then my sister Carmela is twelve years older than me. So all these people now, um, you know. I'm there, and I'm like, who the fuck are these people, man? I mean, they, they don't look like me, they don't talk like me, or something, you know. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things is like at me. And then, you know, you try, you try to mold into the, and they have a little mold for you, and you try to form yourself into that mold whenever you're in their presence, and then when you go, like, well, you, go, oh, you get back to the reality of it, and then you have to why you're like, wait a second. <laughs> Do I really have to put a mask on every time I walk into that house and act something like like that they want me to act? And and I do I do out of respect, you know, out of, you know the tradition. Though, you know, anybody says the Godfather, you got to respect the Godfather. You know. So 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 somehow somehow a twelve year old girl, somebody got her pregnant, and I know I know who it is. They got her pregnant based on what they told me, but I'm not going to say it because if I say it and, you know, sometimes I'm, 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 I misjudge what they're saying or, or, or sometimes I'm and, and, and then all of a sudden I'm saying it and then, and then people are going, oh, no, he's really crazy that he thinks that. That's the story. It's like, whatever. But I got a whole story, but I can't, I can't do it because I, unless I know exactly it is the truth <laughs> and it's the only way I can find it if it's the truth, if I put it out there and then somebody acknowledges, yeah. That's what really happened. And I know, look, I, I used to go to, they used to bring me to this from the age of like 10 on, I think. We went, we went almost every year, you know, every other year or something. And I spent a month, two months sometimes, you know, in the little town, doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> but still in the little town. And you know when you feel like there's people and you're walking down the street and you got like that, the eyes like, 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 like freaking... The back of your head, back of your neck, just like, and the, you can hear the whispering talking. The people knew something about me that nobody wanted to say. And to this day, I don't, I don't know who I can go to 
I don't mean that contact with Memo Angelo. That was the youngest out of five, of, you know, four. I was the five years old. It's only one of the things. Then I, then I spent five, and then ten, at the age of 10, I came back and, you know, 11 or something, or something like that. They, they brought me back and I was introduced to them as a as family. I didn't really, I don't know any of these people from Duke, man. <laughs> so it's not like I can ask any of them. But you know how people treat you. You know how, how like, it's always been like, you know, this thing that I, you know, I, well, you know, you can't get too close to him because if you're too close to him, I'm gonna feel really bad. I'm gonna have to tell him the truth. So I always had this thing where we were, I was friends with these people. So we had cousins and people in this town when I went there. But never really, because it's almost like they knew something about me that they didn't want to say because they all were, you know, uh, you know, that 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 hush hush thing. Shh, don't tell them the truth. And the person will get you know in trouble. Yes. So, you know, and to me, the bottom line, and, you know, I confront my family with this shit, right? I, I, I mean, I'm having the throat, I, I hopefully she'll watch this and she'll, she'll see where I've come to in the conclusion, ready. But it doesn't really matter, every time I bring it up, she goes, oh no, it's a drug, you have to go to rehab, you're crazy, child. Well, I'm just a drug, I love you. <laughs> I love you, brother Tony, I love you, Tony. Hey, hey, fuck you, man. Both of you, you're lying to me. People are lying to me, man. They're lying to me and they don't want to acknowledge that there is something that is not right about the way we were raised and I was raised and why we came to this country and how the fuck we got here and, and, and why exactly did we get here? Did we, had a, did, we have, did we have to leave Italy because the child was like, you know, like there was, something was happening and then you, to find, you find out that the child is really his, but well, you know, it's, you know get, you know, get him out of the town, man. You go, go to America. You're probably living there. Go to America. Is that what happened? And nobody wants to tell me. Again, the youngest of five out of these people, and they all they all kept secrets like crazy on me, man. I didn't, I didn't know half the shit that was going on and, until it was, something blew up. And oh, what, oh yeah, that's that thing we you know, we never told you about. But you know, uh, well, you know, I gotta tell you that you know this and that. You know, they're, they're always after the fact that it happens. I was never included in anything, you know, because supposedly I was I was I was uh, you know I was too young and uh, you know. But then at the same time, I've always felt that was more intelligent than most of them. <laughs> and the one thing about about life, and one thing about um, you know, childhood traumas and things that, that, that there there's you know there's things that happen. You know, the fact that I don't know who my, my real mother is 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 a real problem. It's more of a problem than me finding out what actually happened to to, to bring me into this life. I don't give a flying fuck. I don't care. I just want to know. Just just out of out of, out of because I, my, my own my own senses tell me that that what what happened is not is not real. But yet yet yet. My own senses, though. But yet, the people—the only people that I can—I can somehow verify if that's true. Yeah, I can go to get the DNA test, but something could could be could be like, uh, and I don't know, why, whatever, man. I, I, you know, I, you know, it, it, the, again, the scenario of, of why, why I was there and, and how what my upbringing was, and and how. Once I started, uh, like, like I, I want to know the truth. That's it. You know, you know, you you go through life not really knowing knowing something about yourself, right? And all of a sudden, you have all these uh, psychosomatic illnesses that, that pop up, right? Um, things that pop up, and and you don't know why it's happening. Is it? You know, is it the fact that 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 um, um, me not knowing, me having the feeling that this wasn't, and they were lying to me? Most of all, and when I complained, they did. It was always this thing that I was always. You're just alienating yourself from the family. You, you don't, you don't know what you're talking about. You're just crazy. You know? I remember when I was, I took you to the movie. I put you on my shoulders to be in the movie. <laughs> you push it like that, man. That, 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 that I've been given. Um, it's not. It's not. It's not conduit, conclu- con- It's not helping. The fact that if you do have a psychosomatic it's magnetic illness, the fact that you maybe maybe that part of it, uh, uh, um, you know, is, was was causing what, what you're doing. So basically, finding out, you know, in other words, you know, you don't know who the, you don't know who the really family. You don't have to lie to you. Like you find out for t- truth, or yes or no. Like, you, give me, let me let me see the pictures of me before I was five years old. There's two, and none of those neither of those kids look like me, and they and it's, and it's completely different in every in every in every way. 
maybe one of them is me, but the other kid is in there. That's the thing. I, you know, there's so many inconsistencies that that, that would 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 never do. Or oh, just take the DNA test, but you go get it and you go, you go through it, and I'll pay for it. Like, you know, so I got to go through all the problem getting it, running it, on it, put, put it, sticking me on it. I don't, I don't have any DNA test. I know for a fact that even if there's some kind of blood mixed in with us here or there, that is not my mother, and that is not a father. My father was a fucking ex-military. Then turned police, retired. Then alcoholic hunter that went out and shot little animals and brought them back to us to eat. Okay. Shot little animals, rabbits, and all these little things from in the in the, in the, in the and brought, hey, hey, as a hunter, hey, we brought them back to eat. You could have just brought a chicken down the block. You had to hit, you had to fucking kill this little animal. That's the difference between me and, and this man that said that 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 that, that they so said to me that was my father. <laughs> and knowing my family, if there's a reason to lie, they will lie. And they don't consider it lying, they consider it you know, keeping keeping the peace. And may, you know, it's better that he doesn't know, because if he knows, then this and that and that, the other thing, you know, so it's better, you know, it's like, we just thought it was better that he didn't know. It doesn't matter because we raised him. We are his family. <laughs> Again, all those things don't make any fucking sense. They never did in my life. And every time I used to bring him up, I bring him up. Bam, bam. That's why I had it. I, I, I don't talk. No, I don't talk with anybody anymore. Why? Because they're keeping a lie that they refuse to tell me. Um, and it's not a, a drug-induced hallucination. Uh, it is. It is. A, it is something that is that is that I've been has been haunting me all my fucking life, basically. You know. And when when my spirit guides are, are active and I can communicate well with them, and then it is time for me to fucking really like, you know, it it it, it does I bring it out. If anybody uh, knows what it is, please tell me. I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit what they believe is gonna happen. I'm, I'm not gonna go break things. I'm not gonna find out. Oh my God, I was this. I was who? Oh no, really? Oh, I'm not gonna do that. I don't really care. What I do care about is finding, you know, being, being respected enough as a human being to be told the truth. And if you don't know what the truth is, if you say no, yeah, then you don't know. It's not that my, I'm, you just don't know. Are you positive? Well, you're, you're only. Seven years older than me, or is it five? I'm not sure. So, so, even if it happened before you were born or when you were really young and don't know it, then you don't know either, right? So the only one that, that, that it falls back on is like, you see, the oldest brother that is basically in super denial and he's, I don't even know what the fuck he is. I don't even, I don't, we're blood. I don't, I don't believe we're blood. They're definitely not blood. You know what look like? We're acting like we don't. And then, and then you got my, my older sister. Those two, 10 and 12 years old. 10 and 12 years older than me. Them, somehow, one won't do it, and the other one, I, Kamala, just, she, she can't. She doesn't, I don't know if she even knows. She had, she had an aneurysm. Yeah, um, the age of 40, mysterious aneurysm. It almost killed her, but paralyzed her in front of her. 42 other she was. She didn't die, but she got paralyzed, so she can't really, not paralyzed, she has a speech impediment. She can't really speak more than like 10, 10, 15 words that she says over there, but it's just the way she expresses herself. There's no way I, I can get a full explanation, a truth explanation with her. Um, so that's it. The other two are dead, the parents, she my parents. Um, and, you know, again, I don't, no disrespect to them. Wait, well, one one was a asshole. I'm a hog asshole. Beat, my, beat the other beat everybody else on the Rams. I told you know, I'll, I'll say it. no, no. I definitely didn't come from him. <laughs> but the other ones, you know, I just expected a little more. But I, there's something. There's, that's why I believe there's something behind it now. Now, money's always an issue. And throughout the Italian, especially in the southern poor, poor, poverty stricken Italian areas, money. 
is the root of all evil. It will fucking turn a brother against a brother. It will turn family against family. It will turn you into a fucking coffin. The mob thing is real. And it's not that's the mob thing. It's the fucking money thing that runs through Southern Italy. That just fucking bothers the shit out of me like everywhere else in this fucking world. Because if it wasn't for the money thing, you'd be able to trust each other. Because the money thing is there. Even the sweetest, kindest, gentlest little old lady will fucking take your shit and fucking throw your ass out and, and make sure that she gets enough for her. If that's what she was talking about, not because most Italians are that at, at, at this point. Money is very important. Not to the, the northern Italians where there's money. The southern Italians where there's poverty. You know? You gotta make sure that, you know, you know, they're, they're, I think in, in Naples, I think I'm still not, they don't, they don't need, I don't, I don't know if it's still the case, but they didn't, they never, they, you couldn't insure a car because there were so many car thefts that you could not insure a car. So you could not insure, you buy a car in Naples, you live in Naples, hey, good luck, man. And for theft, hey. It doesn't make sense. So I want the truth. That's it. But I have no one to ask the truth. Again, the DNA test is not going to tell me anything other than it's true. Like and then I'm oh, it's a make a mistake with the DNA. And they made a mistake. Oh, I don't know. And then all of a sudden it becomes that. And I just wasted time to get a fucking DNA test. What I wanted was the, the truth. And it's not important to anybody that's watching this, I'm sure. Yeah, we do. We go and fly, fly. But I do. And the reason I'm putting out this, this video out and putting it out because it's in my head and I want to put it somewhere where, 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 where it stays. And then at one point, um, you know, maybe somebody will look and go like, oh, all, right, all right, all right. I know the truth. I was told not to tell you. But I feel bad now that I can tell you the truth. That's what I'm looking for. I know there's people out there that know, but we're, we're sworn by not telling me. A friend of the family. And, uh, will they watch this? I don't know. But do I want that to happen? So I just get some peace of mind? I'm not gonna blame myself. I'm not gonna blame any of these people for lying to me all my life. Well, that's it. I'm the. You're not talking to me anyway. But I just want it. I, I want the truth. And I want I want it. And the only reason that I'm not getting it is, is it this kind of. There's something, something that if it comes out, then somebody is gonna be in trouble. Or something's gonna happen. That, that you know that causes more friction across other things. You know. That's why you that's why you keep it alive to, to me. That's the only reason that I'm seeing. Other than that, I'm just making all this stuff up and I'm just crazy wacky wacky dude. It's not the case, man. I didn't I didn't work 25 years in the, in the corporate, in corporate America. Uh, and, 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 and she had a pretty damn good career until I got so sick of it that I walked away. Because I could still be doing it if I wanted to. But do I want to? No. I can't. I physically can't. I know everything that's being done there is done as a waste of time for human beings. Corporate America is nothing but a waste of fucking time. You're fucking profiting and, and competing with each other and wasting your fucking time. I will not sit a one another minute and make another piece of software for anything in this in this system. Nothing except for some free some free place, some free zone where I get free housing and everything and you get you get you get four hours in my own day, boom, I'll do it. But everything is free, right? Everything is free. Until that happens. So I could be. I'm not stupid. I'm not, I'm not, a, he's on the drug trips, you know, he thinks he's a hallucinator. Shut up, man. Those things have, have, have what expanded my mind. This plant medicine has expanded my mind throughout my life. If not, I would be, I don't know, maybe as stupid as you. Or maybe like mm, mm, as conniving as you to be able to what? To lie to somebody and continue lying to somebody and make the excuse that we're just doing it for his own good. Yeah. That's what I'd like. And that, and that, that's, an, that's an annoying kind of like mm, feeling, thing that, that I've been battling with and, and dealing with for a very long time. And then I push it down, try to forget about it, go, come on, I'm going to start from giving and then, boom, 
it comes fucking flying right back in my fucking face. And that's it. So now, um, that was it. I had to have I had this whole storyline. They, 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 they didn't tell me. They don't tell me. But they, they put it. They put. They put the pieces that I got in. That the oh, what was in the room? Oh shit! Oh, wow, that's what it is. Yeah. So that's and that's and yeah, I'd like somebody to come in, but I can't. I can't do that because I'm not gonna say what it is, and then and then uh, you know I'm misunderstood or something. And then they, and then they get even more pissed off at me than they are. Then they'll actually get a, you know, take, 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 uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> contracts out of my life or something. I don't know. What that is. <laughs> Fucking no Italians, man. You know, wacky do people, man. Wacky do people. Yeah, nice thing.